All right, lines and angles. Let's take a look at some of this stuff, right? It can seem complicated, but actually, once you know just a few things, pretty simple, right? Uh, so first, we have two parallel lines and then two lines crossing it. So a lot of times you'll get a question that will say, given two parallel lines and a transversal crossing it, all it really means is letting you know there are two parallel lines and then this transversal, this line crossing it, makes all these rules that we're gonna go over happen. If the lines weren't parallel, then that would, the rules wouldn't uh, stay true. So we'll have like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Really, we just need to know the stuff for A, B, C, D. So here are the big rules, right? The big rules are gonna be adjacent angles add up to 180. Right, so the adja adjacent angles in this example, C and B are adjacent, A and D are adjacent. Down here, it's E and H, G and F. Okay, so they have to add up to 180. So if we knew that A was 120, for example, that would mean that D would have to be 60, right? Because 120 plus 60, 180. The other one that we need to know um, are the same side interior angles, right? So same side interior angles, in this case, A and C are, in same side interior, so we're B and D. Same side interior angles also have to add up to 180. So same kind of thing, like if C equals 80, A is gonna have to be 100. Okay, so let's go over a couple examples. Those are the main points that you really wanna know, right? Uh, other terms that you'll hear, if angles are complementary, that means they add up to 90. If angles are supplementary, that means they add up to 180. Definitely have to know that as well. All right, so let's do an example here. Let's say that A, they gave us that A is 60 degrees, right? And that was a given. And then they said, find any of these B, C, or D. Given 60 degrees, we should be able to find out what all these angles are. All right, how do we do that? Um, we can go about it a couple of ways. If we want to bunch about it with same side interior angles, right? Given 60, we would know that this was 120, right? Because same side interior angles have to add up to 180. 60 plus 120 is 180. Another way we could have gone from 60 is adjacent, right? Adjacent angles have to be also adding up to 180, um, right? So this one, right, adjacent, this has to be 60 then, and this one's adjacent, this one has to be 120, right? That should work out, sure does, that adds up to 180 as well. Um, another possible question that we could get, let's go ahead and erase this guy, we have a little bit of room would be, what if it says angle A and angle B are complementary? Angle A equals 50. Find angle B, right? Okay, so we know that it's angle A equals 50, so we have 50 plus B equals 90, right? Because complementary means 90. Subtract 50, 50, B must be 40. All right, what if instead of complementary, it said supplementary? All right, A and B are supplementary. A is 50, right? Was B, All right? So then we'd say 50 again plus B, but this time it's 180 rather than 90. Yeah, All right? From here it's pretty easy 50 on each side. B equals 130.